Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing good. So today's video is kind of a request from a subscriber. Well, I suppose it's more like the video is inspired by a subscriber's question. Uh, the question was, what's the difference between all the varieties of Thalo Blue Red Shade? And my answer to the question was that I really don't have a clue. I have used both PB15-1 and PB15-6, but I've never actually compared them side by side. So I've got four different Thalo Blue Red Shades here. Two of them are PB15 ones and two of them are PB15 sixes. Um, the pigment codes I've written on the page here are the actual codes that are written on the tubes or on the pan in the case of the Roman Schmoll. Um, the Rembrandt and Windsor and Newton don't specify what PB15 is in the paint, but According to handprint.com, they are both PB15-1. I know handprint hasn't been updated in a long time, and it's quite possible that the formulas may have changed, but it's the only information I could find. So if anyone knows any different, then please let me know in the comments. Okay, let's start swatching. So first up is the Rembrandt Thalo Blue Red Shade. And as I said, according to handprint.com, this is a PB15 one. So this is my most used and most loved blue. Um, I use it in pretty much every single painting I do. When I first started painting, I was a bit scared of using Thalo Blues. Um, you know, they were so strong that I just struggled so much mixing with them. You know, it just overpowered everything. But I am actually glad that I spent some time trying to learn how to manage them properly. And now I actually like how highly tinting they are. I mean, a little goes a long way, you know, a, a tube lasts forever. Okay, now moving on to the second one. This is Windsor & Newton Windsor Blue Red Shade. And this one is also PB15 one. So right away I can see it's slightly different from the Rembrandt. And um, I'd say, yeah, it looks a bit darker to me. I think it might be more highly pigmented than the Rembrandt too. It kind of seems a bit more powerful. Um, yeah, I imagine a tube of this really would last a lifetime. It's very nice, but I still think I prefer the Rembrandt. Um, we'll have to see, you know, how they compare when they're dry. So next we're moving on to a PB156. This is Roman Schmal Thalo Blue Red Shade. This one actually kind of reminds me of the Rembrandt a little. So it seems like it's a bit more active, you know, on the wet paper. Yeah, I do really like this one actually. It's another very nice paint from Roman Schmal. It does look to be a little greener than the PB15 ones, I think. I wonder if the Lucas is greener too. Okay, so now we have the last one. And this is Lucas 1862 Thalo Blue. And this is also PB15-6. Okay, yes, this is definitely greener than the PB15 ones. Um, I think it might also be a bit greener than the Roman Schmal. Whenever I've swatched this one in the past, people have always commented about how it looks a bit more opaque than you might expect from a Thalo Blue. But Lucas do actually list it as semi-transparent, you know, not transparent like the Rembrandt, Windsor Newton and Roman Schmal. Okay, so that's them all painted out. 
And here they are when completely dry. So, yeah, I'd say all four of them look pretty different. Yeah, the Windsor and Newton definitely looks the deepest and darkest of the four. Uh, yeah, the Rembrandt is deeper and darker than both the pb 156s I think. Um, it does seem like the pb 156 is more of a middle blue, at least in terms of phthalo blues. Um, it's not as red as the pb 151s but it's nowhere near as green as the pb 153 phthalo blue green shades. I mean, that's my observations from these four paints. Um, but I guess if I wanted to confirm that, I'd need to test a wider range. Um, I do know that some brands have all three phthalo blue pigments in their range. You know, I think Schmincke and Lucas both have a PB15-3, PB15-1 and a PB15-6. I mean, maybe some other brands do too, I'm not sure. It would be interesting to see how they all compare though. Um, do any of you have all three? Any observations on how they differ? Let me know in the comments. So are you a phthalo blue red shade user? Which of these pigments are your favorite? I think um, for me, yeah, I still love the Rembrandt the most. Um, it's just the, you know, the, the perfect blue for me really. Um, I do think, yeah, the Roman Schmal is very nice as well. I think if, yeah, I think I could happily use that one as a replacement for the Rembrandt. Uh, the Windsor Newton, yeah, it looks a bit dark for my taste, to be honest. Um, yeah, at least here in this swatch. I think it might, well, maybe it'll feel different if I actually come to use it. I don't know. We'll see. Uh, the Lucas is perfectly fine color. It's a bit too green, really, for me. Um, I actually want to try and paint it out alongside some of the green shades I have, just to see how it compares. Okay, so there you go. That's... um quick comparison of the phthalo blue red shades that I have. I'm sure in the future my collection will expand, so maybe I'll revisit this again once I have more phthalo blue red shades to compare. Um, I've seen that M. Graham has a phthalo blue red shade that's a PB150, so that's yet another variant. Um, yeah, I wonder what that one looks like. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll speak to you in the next video. Bye-bye.